Ever since the baseball owners put a fence around the field and charged admissions to see the game, the players and owners have been arguing how to divide that money between them. This disagreement goes back to the 1870s. Labor unions saw a rise in strength during the 1960s and 70s. Baseball was no exception with their union gaining power through free agency. The ability for a player to test the open market and change teams, this being granted to the players in 1976. One owner, fearful of free agency, Charlie Finley, decided to sell his star players to other teams on June 15, 1976, before the player could declare himself a free agent and leave Finley's Oakland Athletics. Star left-hander of the 1970 A's teams, Vita Blue, tells us about Finley and how the baseball commissioner reacted to Finley's plan. You know, my situation was uh, in 71, you know, there was no free agency. So uh, the owner of the team, Charlie Finley, quoted all my stats and all this stuff, you know, 300 strikeouts, 300 innings pitcher, complete games. And he literally looked me in the eyes and said, and I don't have to pay you. And it, it put a hole in my heart that's still there. You know, it was my first wake-up call to the business side of baseball. I'm this young kid thinking this guy was going to be grateful that I continued to put his team on the map. And so many millions of people came to watch me pitch when I did pitch throughout that 71 season. There had been a free agency allowed, you know, eventually in the mid-70s. Guys like Gene Tennis and Raleigh Fingers to go to San Diego. Uh, Joe Rudy went to uh, California Angels. And I eventually ended up going to the Giants through a trade. But I was stuck in Oakland for like three years where... I was just in limbo, unfortunately. I was going to the New York Yankees, and Boston countered and tried to acquire Joe Root and Raleigh Fingers. The craziest part about that whole thing, Marty, is that the Boston Red Sox were in town. So all, I, all they had to do was literally go across the other side of the Oakland Coliseum to the visiting locker room. Lo and behold, you remember the, what a telegram was? I still have the telegram in a scrapbook somewhere. The telegram, you know how it said, stop. Da, 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 da. It was from Bowie Coon, the commissioner's office, said, stay put. Da, 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 da. And uh, we were in limbo for like three days, and they got it all uh, sorted out. But, yeah, Joe Rudy and uh, Raleigh, Raleigh Fingers were going to Boston, and the Yankees, as I said, counted by acquiring me. I think it was a power struggle. Obviously, some issues between Mr. Finley and the commissioner. So he vetoed that deal, said me leaving the team would make it less competitive. Da, 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 da. They allowed Tom Seaver to leave the mess and go to Cincinnati for a couple of years. Same, same situation. The crazy part about the Yankee deal was, you know, you, could you prove this was collusion or, or in any way? Probably could. And I chose to go the other way. The Yankees wanted me signed. So I was playing out my option, and lo and behold, the reason I went to the stadium was to find out what was going on, and Miss Finley was going to offer me some more money. You know, it's okay, all right. You know, you figure the guy is dealing in good faith, and lo and behold, he was a snake in the grass. But that's part of history again, like you said, Marty. But you learn your lessons, and uh, it's something that I'll never forget it, the way it changed my life. And it might have been a godsend I end up in San Francisco. I had seven wonderful years in San Francisco, and uh, I currently do community work for the Giants. So it's, you know, I find my little niche in, in what I want to do after I left the field. So uh, I have no ill feelings about that. But it's, it's sometimes it's strange just to talk about this crazy stuff. Vita Blue pitched in the major leagues from 1969 through 1986. Blue was a star with the A's during their three World Series championships, 1972 to 74. In 1971, Blue won the American League Cy Young Award and the American League MVP. Blue won 209 games during his career with a 3.29 earned run average. In 1977, Joe Rudy, he signed as a free agent with the California Angels, while Raleigh Fingers did the same with the San Diego Padres. Free agency was here to stay, and the Baseball Players Union has gained more power during each bargaining session since that time. U.S. History Through the Eyes of Baseball, brought to you by AmericanInnings.org.